Karl Landsteiner, was an Austrian biologist and physician. He is noted for having distinguished the main blood groups in 1900, having developed the modern system of classification of blood groups from his identification of the presence of agglutinins in the blood, and having identified, with Alexander S. Wiener, the rhesus factor, in 1937, thus enabling physicians to transfuse blood without endangering the patient's life. With Constantin Levadity and Erwin Popper, he discovered the polio virus in 1909. He received the Prize in 1926. In 1930, he received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. He was awarded the Lasker Award in 1946 posthumously, and is recognized as the father of transfusion medicine. Early Life and Education Landsteiner's father, Leopold, 1818-1875, a renowned Viennese journalist who was editor-in-chief of Die Presse, died at age 56, when Karl was only six. This led to a close relationship between him and his mother Fanny, born Hess, 1837-1908. After graduating with the Matura exam from a Vienna secondary school, he took up the study of medicine at the University of Vienna and wrote his doctoral thesis in 1891. While still a student he published an essay on the influence of diets on the composition of blood. From 1891 to 1893, Landsteiner studied chemistry in Würzburg under Hermann Emil Fischer, in München, Eugen Bamberger, and in Zurich under Arthur Rudolf Hansch. He had a number of publications from that period, some of them in cooperation with his professors. Research work in Vienna, discovery of the polio virus. After returning to Vienna he became an assistant to Max von Gruber at the Hygienic Institute. In his studies he concentrated on the mechanism of immunity and the nature of antibodies. From November 1897 to 1908 Landsteiner was an assistant at the Pathological Anatomical Institute of the University of Vienna under Anton Weichselbaum, where he published 75 papers, dealing with issues in serology, bacteriology, virology, and pathological anatomy. In addition he did some 3,600 autopsies in those 10 years. Weichselbaum was Landsteiner's tutor for his postdoctoral lecture qualification in 1903. From 1908 to 1920 Landsteiner was prosector at the Wilhelminenspital in Vienna and in 1911 he was sworn in as an associate professor of pathological anatomy. During that time he discovered in cooperation with Erwin Popper the infectious character of poliomyelitis and isolated the polio virus. In recognition of this groundbreaking discovery, which proved to be the basis for the fight against polio, he was posthumously inducted into the Polio Hall of Fame at Warm Springs, Georgia, which was dedicated in January 1958. Discovery of the Blood Groups in 1900 Karl Landsteiner found out that the blood of two people under contact agglutinates, and in 1901 he found that this effect was due to contact of blood with blood serum. As a result, he succeeded in identifying the three blood groups A, B and O, which he labeled C, of human blood. Landsteiner also found out that blood transfusion between persons with the same blood group did not lead to the destruction of blood cells whereas this occurred between persons of different blood groups. Based on his findings, the first successful blood transfusion was performed by Reuben Ottenberg at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York in 1907. Today it is well known that persons with blood group OB can accept donations of the other blood groups, and that persons with blood group O can donate to all other groups. Individuals with blood group OB are referred to as universal recipients and those with blood group O are known as universal donors. These donor-recipient relationships arise due to the fact that type O blood possesses neither antigens of blood group A nor of blood group B. Therefore, the immune systems of persons with blood group A, B or OB do not refuse the donation. Further, because persons with blood group OB do not form antibodies against either the antigens of blood group A or B, they can accept blood from persons with these blood groups, besides from persons with blood group O. In today's blood transfusions only concentrates of red blood cells without serum are transmitted, which is of great importance in surgical practice. In 1930 Landsteiner was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in recognition of these achievements. 
For his pioneering work, he is recognized as the father of transfusion medicine. Research work in the Netherlands and the United States After World War I, Vienna and the New Republic of Austria as a whole was in a desolate economic state, a situation in which Landsteiner did not see any possibilities to carry on with his research work. He decided to move to the Netherlands and accepted a post as prosector in the small Catholic St. Jonas de Deo Hospital, now MCH Westinda, in The Hague and, in order to improve his financial situation also took a job in a small factory, producing old tuberculin, tuberculinum prestinum. He also published a number of papers, five of them being published in Dutch by the Royal Academy of Sciences. Yet working conditions proved to be not much better than in post-war Vienna. So Landsteiner accepted the invitation that reached him from New York, initiated by Simon Flexner, who was familiar with Landsteiner's work, to work for the Rockefeller Institute. He arrived there with his family in the spring of 1923. Throughout the 1920s Landsteiner worked on the problems of immunity and allergy. In 1927 he discovered new blood groups, M, N, and P, refining the work he had begun 20 years before. Soon after Landsteiner and his collaborator, Philip Levine, published the work and in 1927, the types began to be used in paternity suits. Awards and Honors Landsteiner was posthumously awarded the Lasker Debakey Clinical Medical Research Award in 1946 and elected a foreign member of the Royal Society, for members, in 1941. Personal Life Landsteiner converted from Judaism to Roman Catholicism in 1890. In 1916 he married Leopoldine Helene Ulasto, a Greek Orthodox who converted to her husband's Roman Catholic faith. In 1937 Landsteiner took legal action against an American publisher who had included him in the book Who's Who in American Jewry, stating that it will be detrimental to me to emphasize publicly the religion of my ancestors.